our perfect hashing scheme packs sparse spatial data into a dense hash table. The hash function is defined using a single access to a small offset table. Our scheme generalizes to higher dimensional domains. This video demonstrates a variety of applications, first in 2D. Several recent papers embed sharp features within images. For example, a simple scheme is to store two line equations per image cell. We encode the locations of these sharp features into a compact domain image and pack the features into a hash table. During rendering, if the domain image indicates a feature, we retrieve its parameters from the hash table. Dynamic branching in the shader lets us bypass the hash table for pixels away from discontinuities, resulting in excellent performance. Here is another example. We implement anti-aliasing of the vector boundaries and switch to a traditional map mapping hierarchy for distant viewpoints. Here, we represent characters from the challenging curl Z font. The extra space between characters will let us use them as sprites in the next application. A sprite map records the locations of decal images overlaid onto an image. The sprite map is often sparse, so we store it as a spatial hash. To represent this page of text, we use two nested spatial hashes, one for the sprite map, which points to the font characters, and the other, which we showed previously, to represent the characters themselves as vector images. In many images containing alpha masks, only a small subset of pixels have fractional alpha values. We pack these into a spatial hash and encode their locations using a 1-bit alpha channel. This compact representation renders at more than a thousand frames per second. We will now show some 3D applications of spatial hashing. Surface texture can be represented as a sparse 3D volume. Spatial hashing packs such data into a tight cube, making this approach practical. In this example, the texture resolution is 1K cubed. A blocked hash permits native trilinear interpolation. Furthermore, we describe how to efficiently hash a mipmap hierarchy, thus enabling texture filtering. Spatial hashing enables a very practical 3D painting scheme. We hash the 3D parameterized texture onto a 2D image. By storing position tags, we efficiently determine which pixels to update while the user moves the paintbrush along the surface. Because we update the entire 2D image each frame, the paintbrush can have any sides without affecting performance. The paintbrush can also be an arbitrary image. It could be a procedure too. Unlike in adaptive octrees, we don't update any pointer-based structures during interaction. Data never leaves the graphics card. We can replace interactive painting by a physical simulation. The 2D hash table stores the sparse voxels intersecting the surface, as well as pointers to adjacent voxels. Simulation is performed as a rasterization pass over the hashed voxel data. Spatial hashing enables object space collision detection. We voxelize two models, A and B, enter the voxels of A into a 3D spatial hash, and the voxels of B into a 2D image. To test for collisions, we perform a rasterization pass over the 2D image, transforming the stored points of B and checking if they hit voxels in the spatial hash of A. For conservative collision detection, we dilate the surface of A prior to voxelization. In order to efficiently render the potentially colliding voxels, shown in red, the 2D image is also stored as a spatial hash. For details, please refer to the paper. Note the fine localization of collisions, here at a resolution of 1K cubed. In conclusion, perfect spatial hashing is highly practical and will likely find many more applications.